Um, hey guys, me and him were going on tour. And I decided, why am I alone telling you to get your tickets today for the tour without him? You want to see him too? Because they know I'm here. Well, he's here now, <laughs> being a salesman, letting you know tickets are getting low and get your tickets today. Tickets are getting low. Pull up. We coming to your city and we adding cities. Right. If you go to the suggestion box, you can suggest your city and come see us twice. We're coming to no particular order. Detroit. Oh, you want to go back and forth? That would be so cute. Come on. Okay. Sh- Charlotte, North Carolina. Chicago. Brooklyn, New York. Washington, D.C. Baltimore, Maryland. New Brunswick, New Jersey. Is that it? Did we say Detroit already? Um, But yeah, go to www. Just put it down here. That makes it easier, right, for everybody involved? Absolutely. Go to the website. Get your tickets today. If your city's not on the list, go to the suggestion box and suggest your city. And when we're coming to your city, y'all got to tell us where to get the best food, the best uh, amenities. I don't know what that was. But get us your best stuff. When we come to your city, we want the best everything. See you, cousins. Hey. Hey, cousins. It's me, your favorite cousin. Don't call me white girl. And it just occurred to me, why I have Phelps in these six subscription <laughs> things? Right? right? So he's here. I'm here. Because I'll be in, I'm in the subscription realm. Yeah. I'm in there. You have a good time. Um, I heard some, I read, I read a comment and somebody was saying something like, um, Something about the subscription that they don't get um, bonus content, but you do. You get bonus content. You get an extra episode. Yeah, extra episode. That nobody else gets to see but you. But my favorite part is the Discord because we're always on there chatting it up. Talk a lot. Y'all get to talk to us. It's like a call. Not a, not a cut that out. <laughs> it's like a family. Join. Come to more Mona put her com. nether regions on there. I Sign think we up. should put it here. Or do you want to put it in front of you? Make your hand go like this. Do something. Nah, I got to add something else. <sighs> I don't know. We'll figure go it out. Go to mormona.com today and subscribe <laughs> to the podcast. BTS, early access to all the tickets for the shows, um, access to our Discord, our family chat. That's like a 24-7 thing. Um, I think that's everything. Yep. Tom is in there too, very active. It's six ninety nine a month, or it's fifty nine ninety nine a year. So cancel just, your Netflix. Just get it's it. It's not worth it. Exactly. This is live people. You might get a little bit of. And that should be twenty four hours running, like like Wawa. It's always it's always something going on in there. You never know, girl. It's fitness, entertainment. He's in there. I'm in there. You get your prey on in there. They praying. Motivate, all that. Get naked, everything. Damn. Subscribe. That was a roller coaster. Subscribe to Mormona.com today. Did we, are we, have we started? Yeah. Welcome to the podcast. <laughs> um, it's me and Phelps, and he watches trash television. No, I won't be watching the new revamp show. <laughs> That was a low blow. <laughs> Go ahead. Now you can continue just just because I watch trash TV. I just never appreciated the fact that they can never get out the projects. That really irritated me about that show. Yeah. Like no matter what they do, they can get this nigga bags a NFL player. And this nigga tripped down the aisle. Like how what are the odds? What in the who do? Somebody got a curse on them. They can't lead a Jax. But but you know what it is for me though? I'm just always a fan of good black animation. You feel me? It's good black animation, it's comedy. The um one of the people involved was a nigga involved with the boondocks. And I like the actors on there. I'm sorry. You know what? JB Smooth, the main voice, you feel me? You know that's why they they killed the dad off, right? Cause the dad was like, Look, if we don't get the f out these yeah. projects by into this contract, James I'm done. With it. And they was like, why you just fell off a fucking mountain? And he blew it. Died in an avalanche. 
And the next time we seen him, he had a McDowell's. <laughs> My bad. Bro. That's so funny. Anyway, um, but yeah, I wasn't a big fan of um, what's to call it. Let's get right into it. Me and Phelps were so fucked up that we thought. <laughs> oh man. You me and Phelps were like so fucked up <laughs> that we thought the song that Quavo dropped. We heard. We heard one two weeks ago. We've been on point with the dishes, but we heard one of the. We heard one of the, the back and forth backwards. We thought that <laughs> Chris Brown dropped and then Quavo dropped responding to Chris Brown. But it was when that. in reality, was Quavo that. dropped and then Chris Brown responded yeah. to um, Quavo. I seen a lot of y'all mad like, how are you doing the podcast and you're not talking about that? Did that because we pre recorded sometimes. Yeah. And, okay. the, and the Quavo joint had came out. I, I, guess, I guess they didn't make no noise until the Chris Brown disc. Because you, you know Chris really Brown was bigger. I had to say you will come regardless the time. Yeah, they, okay. Because you want to hear a real aspect. That's why you're here. And don't forget that. You look good. Keep on. <laughs> no, um... I really, really liked Quavo's Tender, man. And I'm a That's, big Chris Brown fan. I don't give a fuck what none of y'all say. Yeah, I'm not I'm not even a Chris Brown hater. I don't have no no horses in none of these races. Are you a Chris? Oh, see, that's what I'm saying. I have no horses in the race. No I fight. love Chris Brown. I don't have no dogs in none of these fights. But I I didn't like the whole um, we wish it was take off instead of you. I didn't hear anybody say Nobody, that. yeah. Nobody ever said that. Nobody said that, Chris. Stop. The Chris Brown was cool. It's too far. But I guess because I heard the Quavo after and it was it was like he was on some he was on some laid back players. It was like that was my perfect vibe. You feel yeah, me? I don't know. He Tender's kept it so player. Joint. It's the players this out of, out, of, out of all the disses. He's I not. say that. He's a good joint. Um, also, we were we had to take a ride somewhere, Philly, Baltimore, somewhere, and Phelps plays fucking Snoop Dogg and <laughs> Tupac talking to talking to Kendrick Lamar, and it really freaked me out. I can't wrap my fucking head around it. Like what is this? Yeah, the Drake AI disc. Snoop was, seemed very confused as well. It was very, too old for shit like that. What is that? Sorcery. Playing the game. He's just bullying at this point. That boy is petty. He went in. He, and he did that. Shut your ass up. The Marachi man. He he put Tupac over his voice and talked to him. That's that's, that's disrespectful. Crazy. Is he a big fan of Tupac? Drake. Kendrick. Yeah. He, oh, no, he, West no, Coast. Mona, Mona, this the whole thing. The Drake said, I mean, Drake, Kendrick has stated that Tupac then came to him in his dreams. No, he didn't say that to nobody. He a fan. He going to tell you. I know they, this I nigga a fan. So it's like, you feel me? He went there. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. And I told you, if like we said, like Kendrick could still salvage it even with all the Talk, but if Taylor Swift come out before him, it's over. It don't matter what he say. After That's that. crazy. That's craziness. Is he gonna say something back? Yeah, oh, but he, he but he. This whole is he really waiting on Taylor? I'm asking like he on his team. He knows. Um, I heard um, Maul, Maul super tight with Drake and whatnot, and then Joe heard that like. There's been ammo loaded up on both sides and whatnot, but I also heard a rumor that uh, Kendrick is dropping out. So you're dropping out next month. Like okay. That. So he might be waiting for that. Sound good. <laughs> But the thing is, is like he didn't he didn't diss him on Kendrick didn't diss him on his own joint anyway. So it was like you don't gotta wait till you drop your own project to diss him back because you ain't diss him on your own shit anyway. And this, you feel me? That's not what sparked all this, even though you've been dissing him. I don't know. Rick Ross calling white boy, white boy whooping ass. The funniest this. That's the funniest this. Come on now. He rubbing the salt in the wound now. <laughs> I like that. Um, BBL Drizzy. <laughs> I like Rick Ross's because it was just like so typical Rick Ross and it was fast. I yeah. appreciate the time on it. And I love the trolling part. Um, Oh, like you know, just him talking to your BBL wore off. That's why you got on the vest. Yeah, you know, like the definitely made us. Um, I was really excited about Kanye West. Um, I still gotta hear the whole Kanye one because the clip with the 
yelling over. And I was like, that boy, little boy, boy, ruined it, really, right? Anyway, um, no, I liked it because of the beat or whatever. That's like, it's so Kanye. I was really excited. I'm a Kanye fan, though. Mm-hmm. I'm excited that he was excited to do that, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, he just, like, titties out, Sean John, a little it's beat a on. Joint. I it's like that. Rap is real entertaining right now. Oh, my God, I'm so entertained by Nobody it. Nobody dying, you feel me? Like, that. Somebody might got to shoot some shit. Nah. Make it official. Nah, I come from that era, nigga. We could just keep it all, keep it all petty. Like Drake I sent, come from that era. Drake sent the drum line, the Metro shit. Like Biggie keep died it, for this shit. We could keep it petty like that. So did Pop. And now they saying Puffy the feeling. <laughs> <laughs> the world is upside down. I'm telling you. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I hear something new about that every day, man. I know, man. It's just it's a like, new story. What the hell? It's a new story. I ain't know that the um the Gene Deal to be a cop back in the day because I hadn't been paying attention that close to his. Who? Gene Deal, the dude that's been like exposing shit, that worked with Puffy. Okay. He was like a probation officer back in the day. Oh God, he was yeah. a cop. Yep. Wow. I don't know. Any whore. Um. Yeah, so it's exciting with the rap shit. I really like it. Yeah. I wish the girls was getting mixy too, but the girls don't do stuff like that, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. But I come from back back yeah. in the day. You know what I mean? I'm older. Like, I feel like it's a female June coming though. They ain't just gonna sit back and let them you feel me? Somebody right. coming. Somebody on the way. Long as on nobody this my baby sexy, leave her alone, let her raise her child and get money, we good. <laughs> Love sexy red. Don't get it fucked up. Don't bother her. Um, Uzi went viral performing at Coachella because he <laughs> duck walked. Like I just feel like <laughs> I'm really a Uzi fan, and I feel like I know him, so it's just such a key. Like the whole thing, you know. Like people, I really feel like people think whatever they think about him but they got it so backwards yo you know what's was it's no, crazy no bullshit like you know that's if he cools that's that's yeah, my homie that's so i don't, people, I don't care yeah. to, to defend him but to keep it a buck when he did the um the red hair shit, the bag i'm like this some andre shit. andre didn't, didn't put this same outfit on before you feel me and i was, don't know and now when pe- i tell you people be trying to dig into the to his mannerism just like you paying two for one I, I tell people like when they cause they they know that like I, I you know I spent time with him before I'd be like I tell him first and foremost you can say what you want you would never say none of this to his face I promise you you wouldn't on on everything you wouldn't go up to him and say how you feel about it it'd be it's, or if you do feel like you do it's not gonna go how you want it to go or how you think it's gonna go so when I tell that they get to laugh and they giggle and I'll be like alright some <laughs> of that stuff has been documented though because not even on no cop or nothing it's just people know yeah. like when he had um words of one of them i don't know who was it playboy cardi rich the kid or rich the kid he ran down on him on he south ran street down on that boy with his hands up with his fucking hands up and something else happened but i ain't gonna tell it here and and it, it was funny because I know what happened. me me and my homies we be discussing how um i ain't got nothing to say the, about like, it like like him and playboy cardi or my be pointing out like all of this they be doing their antics or whatever they don't be having no like underlying zesty rumors or nothing like going you feel me like it don't be no stories or nothing attached to them like it'd be like the hardest sometimes you feel me they just be having if fun. he was a homosexual it would already be somebody telling the story it, 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 as i'm saying it would have like, had to be something by now but it's just funny because he be trolling i guess the knowers know you got yeah, entertainer you gotta just be around. We don't gotta him, make excuses yeah. for the he an entertainer. He's it's just funny that that would go viral. Him duck walking. It's like so what? Bro? He he been pushing the envelope. When remember they thought it was crazy when he um when he wore the sweater like ten years ago. That was that was a thing. Remember he wore the little ripped sweater and he had his he had the the dreads in the ponytail and he first got his face pierced. That went viral way back. I don't know, but I remember I seeing him years ago, right? And he had on his um. Real expensive designer from France, I think. And he said it like, this is such and such. And motherfuckers got the Googling. And, and she the tag on that. was like $10,000. <laughs> no sh- Real shit. That jacket was like ten grand, And he'd take it off. 
you know, like that's just his thing, you know. I always think about people like Prince because Prince was real like, but people were, girls wanted to fuck Prince. You know what yeah. I mean? Like he was a sexual yeah. icon and he sometimes wore chaps with his ass cheeks out. Mm-hmm. He would have fucked your mom. Like your yeah. mom went to a Prince show, she got fucked that night. If she has a picture day backstage, your mom fucked him. Most likely. Or she did something kinky, licked his feet, the and bottom when, of his feet. And then he sometimes that, when like, I try to bring that up, people be like, oh, but no. I'm like, no, it's just because Prince is already legendary and done at the time. Niggas was making fun of him, too. Come on now. He was the butt of mad jokes, no pun intended. But he would fuck your bitch, though. You feel me? With the quickness. It's Prince, my nigga. Like, ain't me, nobody turning the Prince down. I remember no Jamie dick. Foxx did the Prince Joan on Living Color. I legit remember that. <laughs> you feel me? We had a um, debate about Living Color and Mad TV. It was so long. So <laughs> glad we made it through. Um. Anyway, Tom put on this subject list about um, Jill Scott trending because she kind of was like, he says, Jill, sh- Jill Scott trends for sharing her thoughts on Chris Brown diss track and appreciating oh, his talents. Yeah. But they were saying, like, getting on her. I don't know why, but I guess that's just how it is because of things he do. But it's just like everything the nigga do, they try to wrap that around it. it. And I am one. I believe in redemption. This is the country of the USA. God damn it. That's what it's about. Mm-hmm. Drag them, knock down. You lose everything. Then you win the fight. Mm-hmm. The Rocky movie. Mm-hmm. You know, that's how it goes. You fuck up everything. You're drunk. You beat your wife. You change your life. You get back to the community. Boom. Everybody likes you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Nobody leaves any room for redemption about anything. Mm-hmm. And it's like, of course, a, a rapist or a molester, of course, you know, but I just feel like somebody that young that does something like that, like I just, why are we holding that person all the way to now, you know what I mean? Especially if you went, you criminally, the person that went through it with you is over. It's like, why is everybody else yeah. still holding? What is he supposed to do? Die? That's my question. Like, yeah. what do you, what do you do after? I'm a person that I fucked up early and I went to jail, came home, whatever. So what the fuck am I supposed to do? Crawl under a rock because I did something bad? Mm-hmm. Like, what the fuck? Especially it's, as a kid. They people know that niggas. Frontal lows on you develop that, all the way till you twenty five. Maybe they was mad that he was sixteen in his Lamborghini and they was and they. You feel I don't me? know. I'm not saying. Of course, it's wrong. When it happened, mm-hmm, it was wrong. Yeah. It was terrible. The pictures were super graphic. It was like horrible. But this is a long time ago. You know what I mean? And he's talking about afterwards if he hasn't been arrested for something like that again it's like why are you i just don't get it to the point that a person of jill scott's stature can't come out and appreciate exactly. his talents without them seeing without that. Them, yeah coming at her like and trust and believe jill don't give a fuck she's very zen mm-hmm. you know what i mean please it don't matter with them people that's why she was going back and forth with them bringing <laughs> to them like she this is how I feel about it but not negatively just explain it to them yeah. like this is where i am with it like you can't change my mind or shame me into changing my mind. That's the, the pitiful part about now. It's like every little thing, you know, it's like you just, oh, God, it's just, I don't know. People just sitting back waiting to judge. It's, it's crazy, crazy, though. Like, you can't even, like, it's just crazy. I don't know. Of course, here at the Don't Come Maker Podcast, we don't support domestic violence because i wonder what's gonna happen like it's gonna be a point where chris brown he gonna be up for like a lifetime achievement or like something you feel me something a career oriented something they gonna have to you feel me so it's like what's gonna happen then i you know i don't know when they used to do those um michael jackson tributes i used to think it could be nobody but him and i used to always be people i used to always be under like i always felt like tall niggas couldn't dance because they just look too big (laughs) But yeah, he he, definitely he changed a, that. Yeah. That nigga know how to dance. Yeah. What Chris Brown like? Six talented. Three. I'm talking Chris Brown. Six three, six four. That's a big little nigga. And the boy is grooving. Okay. He doing flips and all kind of shit. Yeah, standing back flip still one of the craziest things I've ever seen. A what? Remember he did the standing back flip on beat? He does a lot of shit. You know? That was wild. He's Chris. He could paint. That's what that was. It was yeah. My bad. Part of me. Even Thank that's you. even harder. No Diddy. Cause no like, come on now. Stand in front. Uh, oh, I want to tell them something. I haven't told y'all to watch a show in a long time because I do those documentary episodes on subscription. Make sure you subscribe to the podcast so you can get into the doc. Listen with me. 
um because i know i love documentaries but i have to share the show with you it's on netflix i think it's called unlocked has anybody here watched it i watched every fucking episode and i loved it um it's basically about um this unit in this jail i think in arkansas somewhere where they're on 23 and 1 so any jail people know 23 and 1 that's you're in your cell for 23 hours of the day and one hour of the day you could use the phone shower stuff like that that's what the whole unit was under and um this this sheriff comes with this idea of like giving them um freedom and free phones um free visits when they want doors open all night long and that's mm -hmm. something that niggas not used to in jail mm -hmm. with your doors open you you sleep with your doors locked you mm -hmm. know doors open all day long or whatever and they it's 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 a reality show and they do just what niggas would do when they get to do what they want turn up what everybody start making liquor that <laughs> shit smell like feet all the <laughs> niggas had grapes and apples and oranges and shit fermented and upstairs fighting. what niggas was too pop pop over the fucking scrapple the niggas was getting it in but at Eventually, they kind of like hold it, hoined it in together. You know what I mean? But I'm, I'm saying, even though they having common conflicts, is the shit is working though? For the most part, yeah. kinda not really. I didn't get it. These niggas was snorting Motrin's, smoking <laughs> coffee. These motherfuckers was really, and you know, I knew this was going to happen because a lot of them young niggas in there was facing homicides. <laughs> yeah. So niggas' moms is like complaining, like, why the fuck am I watching this nigga on a Netflix show? We still going to trial. Yeah. One of the main little niggas, he ended up fighting a homicide. And I don't even remember that one because they were like breaking down some people's charges. It was one little white boy. He was real likable, silly. He tells a story about how he got real high. Took all these hits and um, acid. I think he smoked meth, robbed the pet store. He's running away, and the, the the snakes that he has all over him are constricted. So this nigga <laughs> bending the fuck up while the cops like freeze, and he help, you know. So he like one of them lovable stoner white boys. You feel me? The other white guy was in there for a homicide. He shot the hospital up down there. Like some Damn. of them niggas had some heavy, and they were young guys. Yeah. They wasn't old. A lot of the old guys just had drug charges. They were just like drug addicts, and you could tell down there meth is the thing because mm. a lot of them was addicted to meth. But for the most part, the show was good. I, my favorite character was the little nigga. He reminded me of my dad. That shit was so funny. Phelps, <laughs> they they letting them out, telling everybody letting them out. He like. He getting ready for the next day. He like, look, man, I don't know, man. I don't know how it's going to go. <laughs> but keep your motherfucking hands and your feet and your spit to your motherfucking self. <laughs> and I ain't poking nobody up, man. <laughs> he was my absolute favorite. I loved him the most. And you know the first thing he did when he got free phone calls? He started a relationship with his son. His son was like 14. He had talked to him in years. He Damn. started calling his son on a regular That's basis. Tough. Yeah. So, you know. It was, I don't know. You got to watch it, though. It's not that many episodes. Watch all of it so we can chat about it. I'm not going to put it, because if you've been down for a long time, you know I put you on Jailbirds. I'm not going to put it up high with Jailbirds. Jailbirds, I really locked in with Jailbirds because I talked on the toilet myself. And Jailbirds, they talked on the toilet. But with this show, um, it's just, like, new and fresh. And if you watch a lot of that jail shit, a lot of it get old and repetitive. They just do reruns. This is all fresh, new criminal stuff. I'm kind of embarrassed that I enjoy watching stuff like that. You know what's crazy? It's been a couple of incidents with people that are like, like mediums or like spiritual advisors, like going crazy. Like the the lady that um threw her kids out the car. You don't know about the lady that threw her kids out the car. Mm. Y'all don't know about the lady that threw her kids out the car. The day of the solar eclipse or something or the next day, she had like a million followers. Oh shit. People follow this, this shit. Yeah, and I was I was I was on TikTok. I don't tell nobody. And they really guy, about to clip that on next week. What? TikTok. Oh, I don't know. I heard oh, it, my I heard God. I heard it might be the official clip. Wow. That's they took my live. I can't even say goodbye to you niggas. Damn. This is rough. You, you heard that me. too, right? Damn. I thought they had a time limit. I knew it was some I thought it was somewhere close to the summer. Oh. I smell really good today, if you're wondering at home. I love you guys so much. It's been such a long journey. Oh, so the, they about to sell it. They not about to keep the security I'm shit on fucking it. Fucking starving. Con Hungry. Yeah. 
Watch Unlocked. Um, I have a couple DMs. One DM I had was super sad, and I don't even know if she wants me to say that on the um podcast, but I responded to her live. That's how sad it was. It was just so sad. Can I tell you like a little bit about it? Like basically she was dating this guy and she really liked him. He started acting funny, but he was about to go to the military and she knew he was about to go to the military and knew he was acting funny. Come to find out I was fucking this bitch. So she reached out and she telling her about him, which is like, damn, I didn't have a clue. That's already a gut to the stomach type of thing and so whatever he goes to the military he's still being distant or whatever he don't want to fuck with her so she's just trying to forget the nigga linking up with niggas gets great on a link up with a nigga nigga take it she frees up scared to death she's only there because she's trying to get over this nigga who hates her that she loves badly so wait the bull that he she got raped i don't know how you're confused in this babe she got great Okay. Want to link up, trying to okay. figure it out. Okay, it sounds like you said he. That's why my fault. Go ahead, continue. I think it was your ears, not my mouth, that that fucked up. But um, this is more than a little bit. By the this way. is crazy, and it was so sad. She was just like, "Man, pray for me that I get this nigga up." And 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 all I wanted to say to her is like, because she said that she prayed for him. She's like, "Can you believe I was praying that he wouldn't be mean or you know like?" And it's like, bitch, don't pray for him. You don't pray for a nigga till you one with a nigga. And it's like, you know, but praying that, like, you deserve them prayers yourself. Yeah. That's You're the one that's really in need. If you yeah. even feel like you got to pray for him, you need to be praying for yourself for yeah. strength and shit. And I'm like, girl, it hurts, but just pretend that it doesn't and keep it moving. Because he was so nasty when he found out what happened to her. Like, he called her whores and shit. He's just a oh, bad person. Yeah. The way the world works, girl, he go over there to whatever war these niggas about to have. They chop his fucking feet off. And then who got the better end of the stick? The bitch with feet. Fuck him. Nigga didn't sign his life away. Anyway, fuck the, him. The Quavo playing in my head right now. I'm not going to be rude and say it. Fuck him. Fuck that nigga. But I told her, I said, pray for yourself, sis. I love yeah, you. Yeah, pray for yourself. Fuck that. It was too much. But I do have one. Are y'all ready? Dark side of my DM. Live in action. Hey, don't know if this will make make it to the podcast, but I need some advice. Back in 2021, after me and the father of my child broke up, me and my mom got an apartment together. Due to a domestic violence situation with the father of my child in 2023, I had to abruptly move out of our apartment. When I moved out, my mother offered to help me with rent because I wasn't financially equipped to pay everything on my own. Now I'm saving up money and aiming to buy a house that I can afford on my own by May of 2025. My mother currently lives with my sister. Is it wrong that I don't want my mother to move in with me when I purchase my house? <laughs> Side note, I offered her my apartment and she said she doesn't want it. And how do I tell her I don't want her to live with me in a nice way? Damn. That's a hard one. You don't want to know what I do, mama. <laughs> like. I said, you ain't coming, bitch. Sorry. I, I mean, and, and it's not like she ain't offer her nothing. I told you to take that apartment. You ain't listen. Now you asked out. Now go to bed. But I mean, is I guess it's, it's already known that her mom was like, "I'm moving in with you to that house." I guess because she lived with the sister, and that's where you gonna stay. Cause you ain't coming over here. I don't care what you think. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but yeah, you can't. I mean, I don't know what the fuck is your mom, bro. Oh, black or, standards. You going to hell? You going right there? Nah, 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 nah. I'm doing that to hold your on, mama. Hold on, hold on. We got a little solution. We got uh, a little solution. What? You got to start your family a little early, so it ain't no room for mom, dude. You got to get oh, you a nigga. Shit. She said, "Get pregnant. Get, get you a nigga. Pop Damn. that belly out. You that's mean? crazy. Start that early. That is insane. Moms can't come in between that. Wow, that's a drastic piece. No, of the apartment's advice. still there, mom. You got an apartment to yourself. I'm pregnant. Because if you come to this crib, you gonna work a little bit. We need this room for the baby. It's going to be an extra room, but you know who you going to be in this house. <laughs> oh, one one thing I didn't mean to ask you. Let me reverse a little bit. 
But that's my advice. Do what you got to do, girl. You're grown. Fuck that. Um, but on the black side of things, you are going to rot in hell for treating your mother like that. Honor thy mother. <laughs> <laughs> Moms might be annoying though, cause why? Like fuck that. Cause usually you want to get moms right. On Facebook, don't you dare play with your mother. Like when you that. grown, you try and get your mom right. So if you're trying to avoid your mom, she might be in the way. I meant to ask you this earlier. Do you think that it's corny that when Chris Brown responded to Quavo that he makes it known that it's about Sweetie? You think that was corny? I think all kissing and telling is corny, no matter what um, what level it is. I know it's a diss song, but it's you. Like, so I'm not even gonna lie, right? I, I literally was thinking he's always been I rapper. literally was thinking about this yesterday. Um, cause like I said, I'd be seeing all these these so these Diddy interviews. I've been thinking with all of this, like, is it weird with, with niggas speaking out? Because in general, you ain't supposed to be doing a lot of this talking that niggas is doing. And just in general, just general street especially, you know, a lot of this stuff is quote unquote street stuff. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, too, in rap and in entertainment, and when you beefing and going back and forth, you got sometimes you gotta you gotta spill a little. You feel me? Like we ain't think Jay Z and Nas was messy when they was doing it. You feel me? I think 50, niggas thought Fifty was a little messy because the extent that he was going to. But every time we heard a nigga say something, it was like you kind of be looking for the, the 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 tea, as y'all call it. You know what I mean? Sometimes. So I don't know. It's weird. I, I don't know. Baby, this is definitely like the the nigga version of the the female shit. Though. You feel I'm me? I'm excited about it. And Kanye did an interview and said that Drake, that Drake is, has a rich baby dad. <laughs> Kanye is hilarious. I like Kanye. You know, I'm on Kanye's side. I, I got the pants on right now. I need some pockets on these joints, though. They definitely comfortable, but I can't, like, wear them outside at night because I don't wear, um, I'm, I'm not a purse nigga. No man bags and that. So, um, if you're a man bag nigga, you could go out at night with these, but I can't go out at night with these. Huh? Okay. Nope. I Whatever can't. that means. Cause I don't wear purses. It's no pockets on them. So if I need, what? How? You know what I mean? Me and Phelps went to a weed brunch on four twenty, and we also went to shout to Mahogany from Be More. We went to her birthday slash retirement party, and she shout had mahogany. snakes. And I put the snake on my neck. Maybe I'll show y'all the picture. Here. If they follow you on Instagram, they probably see it. Uh, Phelps said, find it on my fucking Instagram. Nah, I said, if they... F- Forget <laughs> it, Phelps. Forget it. <laughs> do we have a voicemail? I feel like I haven't done that we in do. so long. I really enjoyed the Maya to Dine episode, and I know y'all did too. So, you're welcome. She's just very smart. Shut up, girl. Um, <clears throat> mm. Wow. Make yeah. sure y'all get your tickets. Whatever. Did the nigga send me a um to the May show? Okay. I don't know if this is it though. Nah, he nah he did. He said that's the one. He said it's the same, you know. Okay. Hey Mona, hey Phil. So I have a situation. So there's a guy that I used to kind of be like friends with benefits type of thing, but we never actually fucked, right? So we always would like sex each other, send each other like provocative pictures or whatever, but, and videos, and we both would kind of get off to them for, with, with each other. So fast forward, we've been in each other's lives for like almost 20 years. He's married. I'm in a relationship, but we still message each other here and there to, you know, see how each other is doing. He's in the Navy. So when he's shipped out, he'll, like, randomly message me. And then he recently told me that he still has, like, all my pictures and videos that we used to send each other from back in the day. Like, is that weird that he still has my videos and pictures and still beats off to it? Like, I'm low-key kind of turned on by it, but at the same time, like, is that weird? You in a whole other relationship. But is it similar to, like, just going online and finding porn and beating off to it that way? 
What y'all think? Why the fuck would you ask me this shit? <laughs> What do it matter your kinky ass you like it? You and this nigga been sexting for seven years. We sexed. Yeah, y'all is not friends with benefits. Y'all didn't do nothing. Y'all, y'all be y'all sexting. Y'all pen pals. I don't even know what sex. Um, so sexting is like, as you put your big lips on my chest, and then you say something, and then I say something. I think so. I'm not that bull. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not that bull. So I'll never know what sex is. I'm not an extra, is. like, you feel me back in like sexting makes me think of grinding. Remember that? Like you just grind your pants on each other. Yeah, and I'm and and that like that was lit. <laughs> and I really don't like I don't beat off I don't I used to love to grind. I don't That's I don't, my thing. I don't, I don't uh I don't beat off to like my, my big screens or like shit that John sent me like that. Like the attachments is I was about cool. to say you got you got videos bitches sent you ten years ago. Do you still have them? If I do, I got them, but I'm not somebody. <laughs> nah, listen, listen. I'm not. I don't. I don't go back and review shit like that. Like I don't. I don't beat off. I don't beat off to some shit that some John sent me. That's not mine. You feel me? Anyway. Right. That's not your turn. Nah, I will peep it. It'd be. It'd be like in the message. That's what I'm saying. But I don't be saving. Them First Jones. of all, it's so random. Me and Phelps be in breakfast. He flip the camera. Be pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, but know. that's how it be. be. Like stuff. that's, know. but you see what I mean? Like that, it's more of a casual thing for me as opposed to like, all right, I gotta go get right you to know this. How old I am? That all my original sex tapes, they don't even make them phones no more. I ain't got to worry about that. It was Virgin Mobiles. I was busting down on Virgin Mobiles. That shit is done. Pixelated. Don't nobody got that shit. <laughs> I don't have no iCloud work for real in the streets. You feel me? Well, by the time iCloud was out, I owned the porns. I was smart enough. Yeah. You feel me? You know, you a young buck nigga, pull a camera. You, you deer in the headlights. Now you just want camera. <laughs> yeah, and that's the thing. I ain't, I ain't that. I ain't yeah. that. I ain't the extra. You feel me? I don't. I don't be doing joints like that. Nah, but so. all my little probably would have been embarrassed type vibes. Pixelated for sure. Shout out to Virgin Mobile, man. <laughs> they was the shit. Niggas had them. Like, niggas used those. That was the shit yeah. back then. Before iPhones was like everything, there was a lot of kinky stuff out. Yeah. But yeah, um, I don't think he weird. He he doing what he, he that shit keeping his marriage together. Y'all still be sexting, girl. You was freaky. Y'all freaky. And I don't know why you asked me She said that. I'm still turned on. Yeah, he's why I like weird. it. You know you like so it. You need to go get that boy some coochie in real life and stop playing. Yeah, you're in seventh type? grade. You're going to cheat. you going to cheat. Because if you get caught, y'all are both done. Yeah, it's clap. So why not so fuck and make it worth make, it? Yeah. You had to break up because you told a nigga when I, when I sucked that dick. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't never even sucked this nigga off. You, because what's gonna happen is if y'all other partner find out, y'all gonna say, "Oh, we never met." They gonna say bullshit. Hey, stop asking me stupid shit. <laughs> okay, love you. Um, so this was good. What did you tell me that you watched before we finish? Oh, it was a um a nigga from Chicago security guard. His name was. Big homie CC or something. He did a lot of. He's a celebrity security guard. If we come to Chicago. He say expensive, so not this year. Maybe like next year, I get big homie security. He's six six four hundred pounds. Okay. <laughs> and he was. Where'd talk- you watch it? Uh, what's this shit? It's called Cam Capone News. Sounds it be like shit that be coming. It, it be shit that be coming in my into my algorithms that like I don't be looking for, but because of the shit that I watch, it'll just fall in there. You feel me? So yeah. like the random, I don't. Wa- it's funny because I don't watch a lot of like. A and B level interviews all the time, like niggas. I be watching like the E F level, like cause that's where you gonna get like the real shit at. You feel me? Like I need to watch the Jaguar right interview. She was drawing on there. You know what? Done with that shit. I gotta watch it. That I don't give a fuck. Y'all believe everything. That niggas lying. Oh, I don't gotta believe everything. I don't want no trouble. But I need to see it. She from Philly. Make that money. That last interview that motherfucker said up there, the bag of fruit lying. The nigga. She was just eating. She, you know, what she gave. 
booking fee. She gave these niggas is paying me, and I told them have me grapes and juice when I get up here, and I'm gonna eat this shit through the questions, cause that's how much I don't care about these niggas. These niggas acting like this nigga clairvoyant. Well, yeah, you the nah. one that said you called. Like, come on, man. yeah, nah, man, come on with this shit. But I gotta, shit. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta listen. The reason why you gotta watch them interviews is because. When somebody saying come back and interview after them, they going to confirm or deny certain shit. So that's why it'd be like, all right, this this person look like they you feel me? And they'll she confirm or deny. Crazy as shit. shit with a box. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker got a box talking crazy. But nah, he he. he so but what? One of the one of the things the nigga said was um, he was doing them parties. He was like he definitely some of them parties he was doing. He was like he would be in them parties where he'd walk in there and they'd be the Jones where niggas was kissing and he'd be like, I feel so crazy. Like I would just like leave and just tell niggas like I'm gonna just sit in the car because he was like I'm not a cop security nigga. He was like he's a, a street nigga that's got into security. So he was like it's certain shit, bro. I can't fuck. He was like a lot of securities he's. Sec- Party at them parties, he was security from outside because they was just too crazy. Like, as soon as he sees some shit, he was. He said, "This is this. This the one thing he said that was funny as hell." Because now I'm gonna look out for this shit. He said, "If you ever at a, a black party, <laughs> he said you see uh, like three white niggas that look like vampires walking with spiky hair." He was like, "Get the fuck up out of there! It's about to get kinky." I said, "Bet I'm gonna take note." No fucking comment. I believe it though. I know you do, and that might that might not be them specifically, but I feel them though. Cause why why is why is is you Jeff, John, and and Mike in this joint with suits on and niggas in here smoking blunts with jeans and jerseys? I was somewhere with you, and I ain't gonna say nothing about nothing. I'm just gonna say I was somewhere with you, and somebody unique looking walked in, and you jumped. <laughs> That's what you did. <laughs> You jump, and mind you, it was the person was unique looking, so everybody looking at you know my fucking coming through, but not you. You look up and go, oh shit, nigga scared me. What the fuck? What was that? That's you. That's the friend I have. <laughs> it's embarrassing. Maybe on a subscription we'll talk about that because I don't have remembered. <laughs> I was there. And I had to feel the burn. You, I shit. feel like you just named me and that, that nigga realized times. that you jumped at looking at each other. The person that you jumped because their appearance is so different is locked eyes with me when we both realized that you just jumped looking at this nigga. So it's like a like a shame thing, like damn, like like a shock shame, like oh, he talking about you, like <laughs> it was bad. I feel like that's something that done happened multiple times. It has. Yes, that's the crazy thing. I'm thinking he's not going to dif- differentiate which time he jumped from somebody that looked unique. But it's happened more than once. That's him in his natural state. They was they got close. Did they? We'll talk about it later. We'll talk about it on the sub. Would a normal person have jumped too if they seen him? No. Nobody would have jumped. People might have said, oh, wow, that's a different looking motherfucker. But jump. I no. probably had my head down on my phone and then looked up. It probably That's exactly that. how it happened. <laughs> Watch unlock so we can talk about the ladies. And you tell me, do you think that the people that's going to jail for homicide, should they be allowed on the show? That's what that mom was like. Don't nobody want to have their wounds reopen. This nigga laughing. Yeah. Nigga killed my child. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Two sides of every story. To the ones that came home, shout out to y'all. Welcome home. Try to stay home. To the ones smoking coffee, <laughs> snort Motrin, you got a long way to go, daddy. You got some demons on your back. You need to handle that. You got a problem. That's not right. That's weird. All right. Thank you for joining. Subscribe to the podcast, morning.com today. And also get your tickets because we are on tour. And we're going to city to city to city to city. We coming. So you should meet us in that city meet and us have there. a good time with us. It's on you. Whatever you want to do. And it's going to be hot. So make sure y'all wear all deodorant and all that. And don't be too excited because you're going to be sweaty and stinking and won't like that. That's Phelps for ya. Buy your tickets at WW is right there. You already know. That's my joint for the thing I pull it up. I do. 
Okay. Or I so, played. so creative, so different. He's such an individual. We're out. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>